So welcome back. This is the third of my little videos and it's demonstrating how we're transcribing a manuscript using this Menno tag system that I've developed. And we're here looking at folio five recto of uh, the Codex Frisianus in Copenhagen. So what we did in the last stage is to tokenize the line that we've just transcribed, um, and we can you can we can start again from the beginning by using that eraser button if we need to, to bring us back where we were, and we can just return to that point. Of course, you lose the more information you put in, the more you lose in this operation. But sometimes it's important to start again from the beginning. Um, I'll just get us back here. So. What we have here is the diplomat, the facsimile transcription we made reproduced at three levels, uh, the diplomatic and the normalized. And what we obviously then need to do is make the diplomatic level and the normalized level. And this is assisted by a statistical search of the database to find out what the most common expansions or diplomatizations or normalizations of these words are as their input. So if we click on dip here, what it does is send these words back into the system and uh, comes up with suggestions for how they should be expanded. And this has worked reasonably well. In most cases, it will uh, fix up the, the allographs and so on. And the rest we can just supplement in by typing them in. We're using brackets here to correspond to the expansion tags that we have in TEI. The same process works with normalization. Once again, it's searching through the corpus to find out how these particular spellings are normally normalized. And in this case, everything's worked fine um, and it's just normalized it automatically. Uh, and this uh, it can go on. Um, this usually requires a certain amount of manual intervention, but there's a lot of help here that goes into that. And in the next video, I'll talk firstly about how to split up the image and then how to go into the next stages of lemmatization and more syntactic analysis.